what is up my halloween lovers welcome back to my channel i'm about to do another halloween tutorial and this is inspired um by mikey and the movie mad max and everything steampunk basically this is my version of my steampunk halloween look so if you're interested in knowing how i did this keep on watching all right, so bare face is all looking like, you know, a little crust bucket. But um, we are gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline City Mini palette in the green. Oh my gosh, it's so bomb. So, so bomb, I love this green palette. Um, green's one of my favorite colors, so, you know, I had to pick this up. So I'm going in and basically taking that deep forest green and putting that all in the outer corners of my eye. And then I just carve out a small little cut crease. Not small, you get what I mean. Carving out a cut crease and I kind of sped through this because it's just like some basic, a basic eye look. But if you are wondering on how, you know, you can accomplish this look, not even just for this steampunk tutorial, but for a nice fall vibe look, I thought it was really pretty. So I did go ahead and feature it in the video. And I'm going ahead and patting that down with some setting powder. And I believe I used my Ben Nye Banana Powder for this. And then I'm going to take this little shimmery color and focus it on the third part of my eye. Inner third part. Right there, you see me blending that on in. These colors pick up beautifully. And then I did go in with um, a lighter gold shimmer that was in the palette as well. And I focused that in the inner parts of my eye all in that crease basically doing the same thing i did to the top to the bottom and then on my left eye you can see that i added some glitter and i will show you guys where i put that as well but it was like you know really cute little pop and fall eye even though this is steampunk we still want it to be a little glam so you know we had to do what we had to do <laughs> and this glitter is from nyx and it's just the gold glitter and I focus that on the top of my eye and the bottom, right in the center. Super, super pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's get started on this face. All right, so I made this um, piece, this prosthetic piece, a while ago, and I did watch Mikey. If you watch Mikey Glam and Gore, she's amazing. She did something, and I did. I was like, okay, I have to do this too. Okay, so I did like a similar little look, and I just made this actually a few months ago, um, and I'm just now using it. So right here, I'm just basically trying to figure out where I want these patches to go on my face and that's why I'm showing you like um nope I don't want it right there it's okay to mess up it's just makeup okay go ahead and erase it kind of figure out where you want to put um everything on your face once you place it because once you put that face piece down um a lot of stuff will um, be covered up by the mouthpiece and I didn't even have to put makeup around my mouth but I was just I was just going with the flow okay now I did use a little bit of acrylic paint mixed with my foundation just to create some colors that I did not have as far as like face paint and body paint colors. So um, they worked perfectly fine. My skin didn't get irritated or anything. Um, I usually, I mean I literally just used a dab to dilute my foundation and create these different colors. Then I went in with a white face paint and this is just from Mehron. Again picking up a little bit of the paint mixing it with it just to create different tones and then I started using a sponge but then I started taking away some of that um, paint that I had laid down and you see where I made that mistake right there so it became a little patchy but I was like you know what it's okay I'm gonna make it work anyways and I ended up putting like a little gear in the spots where they appeared more patchy and then again, like I said, everything's trial and error. I started putting this line down the middle of my face and I was like, ooh, I don't know how this will look once everything's done. Didn't really like it down the center of my nose and I felt like it made my nose appear wider than what it was. So uh, later on, you will see me go ahead and remove that as well. Right now, I'm just shading in some areas to create some depth. And contrast um, that way it's just not like this these random lines so I am going in with my eyeshadow brush and just diffusing mixing shades creating more of that mechanic-y steampunk look 
yeah right here i was like getting confused i'm like oh i don't know I, I probably should have looked at a reference picture but eh, i was like let me just wing it and i literally just kind of went with the flow and this is where i thought like okay my nose looks a little bit wider than what it was so i tried to diffuse it by um shading in the outer corners of my nose but it just wasn't looking right for me so yeah then i later went in and i was like let me let me go ahead and erase this okay but yeah i am going and just like i did on the other side just diffusing those sharp edges and those um stark lines And there I am wiping the nose. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I cannot do this. So, and then I just ended up going above my brow, bringing that straight across. And now I'm just creating some little pinpoints as if I had like, you know, patches, screwed in patches on my face. Just And I'm just using some black face paint and dabbing that all around um, the lines. And this is what I meant by I really didn't need to focus anything around my mouth because I was going to put that mouth, my, that mouthpiece on anyway. So, yeah, here I'm dabbing on some spirit gum and I am going to start putting on the gears. So now I'm just focusing those gears and just putting them in random spots. I think it would be really cool, honestly, if you painted them, but I had mixed um, washers and stuff like that. So I had mixed washers, so I had some steel ones, I had some silver ones, um, and then I found these really cool wood ones at um, Hobby Lobby. So I kind of like the contrast between both, um, so I left them like that instead of painting them. But I think they would look just as cool if I painted them as well. Here you see me adding the spirit gum to the actual prosthetic and I'm just putting it on my mouth. I held it for a few seconds and it was really good to go. Removing it was honestly pretty easy too. Just move my mouth around a little bit and it came off really, really nicely. Here I'm just using some more, um, this is uh, face paint and I mixed it with a little bit of that Mayron to create that muddy look going in with some scab blood and making it look like uh, someone put something on my face that wasn't supposed to be there so now I have some weird infection around my mouth <laughs> and um, yeah right here I was taking a little snapchat break and I'm like mm, let me see how it looks on my camera phone on my video phone and I thought it looked pretty cool but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I did go ahead and add some contacts at the end, but go ahead and grab your steampunk goggles, your hat. I did pick this up at Spirit Halloween, my favorite place. And yeah, I thought the look with the contacts really took it to the next level, but you can do them with or without. I will see you guys in my next video. Go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Bye guys.